Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our React Hook website designing series where we are on the part 4. So now guys, uh, we are going to design all the pages like your about us and your one services page and one simple contact page. So guys, now let's get started with it. So first step, let's move to our about page and design one just a banner and then a simple content. Okay, so let's move to our editor. Okay, let's close all the files. Here, let's move to src component about.js. Okay, so over here, let's begin over here. Let's take this inside and here you begin with your container part. Class name, container, copy and paste. Here, let's make this padding top and bottom 3 and BG warning all set and I just want to push this code inside the container. Now let's see the output for it. Here you go. Perfect. So this font is looking too big. Let's make it a small little and make this about us. Here we go. Perfect. So now guys, we need a dummy content. So we can just Google that lorem ipsum. So here, let's move and okay. So now guys, uh, we need to copy this and we'll be using in this about us page. So now guys, let's go to our about us and just get started with the below section. So first let's divide again the div tag with the class name is equal to where we are we will tell that padding 4 and pg light the same goes on with the container part and the heading so here you can type welcome to react hook website designing okay and a simple divider so we will be using bootstrap class name and then your p tag so here we go let's copy the dummy contents copy and paste here and now let's see the output perfect so let us just divide this page over here let me just increase this padding to 5 and i want to divide this in a column 8 and 4 so you can use a row div row class name is equal to row and same again we are going to use the div tag with column md Eight. and let's copy once again and here this column we are going to make it to 4 because uh, a row contains total 12 columns so let's take this data and paste inside your column 8 done and inside this column 4 I want one image to be added let's use image tag src source path where you are going inside the component image and you will find the gift.jpg one image we are using so you can call the path like about image okay so let's import that import about image from the path so you are going from your pages folder okay so one step out and then go to your images folder and call the image file so let's move one step out and then move to images forward slash gift.jpg save and now guys you can for responsiveness let's use a class name w100 and here you go perfect so 
all the design has come now if you want to you can use a shadow over here so just shadow and you can use a border bottom border hyphen bottom so perfect all done so now guys same we are going to copy and paste for your contact page and your service page also so guys now let's begin with our service page one service page we'll make and we will paste the same design okay so let's get back and yep guys so inside pages let's create one page called service one service one dot js file and let's copy whole thing from your about us page and paste that and now let's change the function name first over here as service one copy and just end the default export default and this will be your service one here you can move on that's it so now you need to call the path in your app.js as we have seen that okay so after about us i want to call what is the path we have given in the drop down here is service one let's copy this path and paste that and call your component that is service one so let's tell service one copy and import this service one so you need to copy this okay from the path so we will copy this same path all set so instead of contact we are going to use service one let me just copy this file name okay so you need to copy that file name that's it save and here you go let's refresh perfect so service one has come so same way you can integrate for your service two, service three also so now guys let's implement for our contact us page so let's move to contact here we have a function and everything so let's move just copy the return function and paste that here you go and need to change the title contact contact information and this will be a small description about your contract contact information and here you can give all your address email us at info at example dot com same as call as so plus one and just a random phone number and your website so www.example.com so now you can see the output for contact us page perfect so you, if you want in a card you can just implement that card also let me just quickly design that so just copy and paste this div and the div okay so here you can use directly card card body done if you want to use a shadow you can use a shadow too here you go perfect so now let's implement the form contact form so you need to start with the div open and close tag let me just finish it quickly so first label full name get started with input so you need to end the input let's give a class for this form hyphen control okay now you can see the output for this here it gets okay so if you want to just divide one by one column you can just give a row over here row and then again open and close the div for column md6 now you can just copy this and paste back 
So you can just change this to email ID. Here you move it phone number and move on with subject and finally one message. So we are going to use a text area. So you can just type text area open and close. So you need to copy this form control design. I mean class name and you can utilize that row how many rows do you want over here so let's set it to three and this will be a message area let's make it to 12 and now guys let's see the output for this perfect so here you get the output and we require a simple button over here submit button you can copy this div and paste so let's set up the button let's tell this button name as send message and design this button name primary you can extend the width and height so yep here we go so if you want to give some space just add margin top three and done that's it guys and now if you would like to keep this in a card you can just follow up using one div tag again open and close div so this is our role let me just minimize this row and paste that row inside your card div let's use the card class name here we go with card, card body. All set. Done, guys. So, guys, we have successfully completed with our page designing and with the contact page. So, guys, in our home page, also we need some contents. So, let's copy this about us design and just paste in our home page. So, it will look fine. Okay, so let's move to about us page and we just need this copy it control c and go to your home page and just paste after your div container all set and here you are including the about image so you need to import that also so you can just call that path copy and paste so yep so here we go let's refresh perfect so we have got the output so one thing is pending guys that is our footer part so let me just quickly design with a simple footer okay so let's move to our source component and in inc we have created the nav bar right and we have included that in our app.js file because we want to keep that global so same thing we want to keep this footer in every page of your site okay so for that let's create a file inside your inc folder that means include folder that is footer.js and same concept create the function so let's do not waste time copy and paste here return and the function export default your footer copy and paste all set and here begins with our dev start with the container first let's give the class name where container and move with the row and let's create a column here we will create a column with md6 and start with the h2 tag where we'll tell welcome to react hook website done and after this if you want a divider or horizontal row you can just set up that and a little content so we need a content 
let's copy from here and paste done and a remaining six column will just copy and paste here you can start linking your code i mean create a tag so let's create one div and a tag so in in react we don't use a we have to use link right link to set single quotes let's give home and name this as home use a class if you require you can use a class for designing this but not required okay let's copy and paste this will be about us the contact us services all set and now guys let's save this and include this footer in our app.js file okay so let's get back here after the routes i want to include so yep open and this is my footer let's import this here is a navbar okay import footer from the path so it's the same path let's copy this and paste it so just add that footer file save and yep let's see the output refresh okay done guys so here you get your footer part but let me just design it very correctly let's move to our footer and begin with use the class name py5 bg dark here you move with class name is equal to text white and same concept class name is equal to text white perfect so here we get our output if you don't need this and make it to h5 done guys so let me make this navbar sticky let's go to navbar and here sticky sticky hyphen top refresh cool so if you scroll also it's your navbar is sticky so guys in this video that's it we have successfully completed our react hook website designing in react js so guys thank you for watching this video and let's get started with new series in next videos so guys thank you once again please subscribe like and share